What is good people? Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be getting some more work on golf estate done. So if you guys enjoy these vlogs, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. Let's get on with it. During cleaning, we'll start another mark for you too. Someone to come and pick up a wing. And then we end up doing some spannering, obviously. And those trims have moved. Also, for you guys watching, wait, which one is it? This two. So, there's two trim clips. This one, wait, is that the one? Yeah, the non-bridged one is what goes on the outside of the door because it goes it goes in and then comes out. And this one isn't as short as the other one. Wait, this one is shorter than the other one, I should say. Like that. That one you use in the middle. I'm a heat What's up with it? Look at, look at, Don't look inside I was cleaning it. my car and I get disturbed here, right? Go on, what? Do you think the pollen filter could have something to do with it? No. Because that's, no. Honestly. Make sure it's not in gear. It's not. It's working, what's wrong with you? It's working. No, there's no heat, the heat's going out. Oh, that's, even... oh dear. Oh dear. Even when it's on hot. If you know Mark Freezer and you know exactly what problem that is, that's your heater, heater flaps. Matrix. Heater flaps. Heater flaps. Because I've got all this shit coming through. That's what the heater flaps are. So inside there, there's a bunch of flaps that when you change it to windscreen feet, oh, okay. there's flaps that divert the air in different locations. And the don't know why, the flaps are lined with foam. Those that foam then eventually crumbles down and comes through the vents when that flap's supposed to be shut closing it from it from it blah, blah, blah. from closing it from coming out to that direction it's actually seeping through everywhere right i'm going to leave now yeah. stop giving me more stuff to do <laughs> see you later <laughs> oh dear anyway so while i was cleaning the car i actually noticed it's not as broken I've lost one of my bumper intakes. Yep. Bloody fantastic. Um, they weren't in the great, they weren't in the best condition anyway. They were very poor quality when I bought them. Um, I've got some plastic ones. Well, I've actually got two. One in the box there, one in the box there. Um, they're gonna go on, but that's gonna be, that's just a whole nother time. Now with the car clean, that makes everything so much better. I don't even like driving the car when it's in that condition. I absolutely hate it. Car is now all cleaned and dried. So now we can carry on with the progress. Now, in previous vlogs, I've mentioned about getting the car painted again at some point to rectify some defects like this, like this like this like this and many other problems on the car and the first thing that we um, ended up doing in the future proofing of getting the car painted was remove the front doors now there was nothing wrong with the doors apart from this side had the dent just here might be difficult to see this bit here and um, because of where it is it's in an awkward position and it's probably easy to get some new doors and that one was damaged as well so what we ended up doing is getting some replacement red and green doors the problem with these doors on the outside they might look okay but on the underside it's not this one it's the other side so the lighting is terrible there's basically <laughs> holes where the grommets are on the underneath of the door that's where it started to rot through so what i've done is took a trip to leo's to pick up two more front doors these will obviously be getting painted and i've spoke to the paint man he's happy for me to carry on with the work on the car um, if we start stripping everything down uh, the door seals and everything like that we can 
make a good start. I did film a vlog um, going to Leo's and kind of talking to him and everything. And my dumbass recorded it all in slow mo, so there's no audio and it's just not playable. So let's have a laugh at Lewis for a minute. So both the doors have been taken out of the car now. I'm going to start by removing things like the door handle, wing mirror, um, door latch, and then get the glass out, take the mechanisms out, take the seals off, and then start cleaning everything up. Might have to get some tar and glue on this because it looks like someone's tried to glue some trims on in the past. It's left a lot of residue, so yeah, let's crack on. So that is pretty much all of the stuff stripped out of the door. So we've got the glass out, the seals out, the indoor window scrapers out, um, the door handle is out, wing mirror is out. We managed to scrape all the inner door membrane. Door latch is also out. Um, it's now just a case of taking these little grommets out and stuff. What I'm gonna do now, um, I've managed to clean inside the door as well. I managed to clean some of the seam sealer off good signs is that there's no rust underneath and I have some in the here auto seam sealer so we're going to lather the inside of the door to prevent it from rusting in the future this is the time to get everything done that you're not going to get chance to or be asked to in the future so I'm going to take my extra time so far everything is off it's pretty much ready to be sent to the the painter.
So I've now put the steam sealer in. Now I know a lot of you are going to be saying, "Why don't you put cavity protection or wax oil or anything like that?" Well, this is a form of rust prevention, and because I've got it available, um, everything has been prepped on this side. Everything is removed. Everything has been cleaned, and let's move on to the next door. Okay, so both front doors have been now stripped down. Both been seam sealed and I noticed that the reason why they rust inside these tracks is because they're not painted properly. So what I did is I just put a bit of black paint in on both sides and just to give them a bit of longevity. I've um, got a seam sealer at the bottom and then I just sprayed a bit of satin black just to make it look a bit more neater. All the parts have been stripped and have now been placed here. I'll probably sort through all the bits that I need, keep them and then throw the rest. The good thing about the door handles is these seals on both sides are actually perished on the estate and I think some of it's missing on one of them. So that should be handy for replacements. We've got a spare rig, spare window regulator. I presume it works, but you never know. Spare door, door wiring room, um, door latches. We've got the check straps, bunch of grommets and seals and clips on both sides. And then we've got two and then we've got two hinges and a wing mirror. I think the wing mirror is damaged because it's kind of been taped. But it's good for space because it's an electric. You can always take the motor out and the glass is always good. Now is the decision of where to kind of put it because we are obviously lacking in a bit of space. We have picked up another set of seats a while back need to get around to doing them however we are currently working on the red color concepts um, we have a set upstairs well the other one is upstairs now being retrimmed um, once that's finished I'll wrap it swap them over wrap that and then they should be very special because I've done something I've never done before different material I've not used before and color is definitely something I've not done before I think what I'm going to do is give the garage a little tidy up, find somewhere to put these doors, I'm not leaving them outside because I don't want them to rust, and continue. Right people, in the middle of tidying up, I tend to get distracted and I've been trying to get to the bottom of these discs. So they're 280 mil four stud brakes to go on the Golf. Um, there's been a com bit of conflict in information. Um, a few people have told me there's two different types of disc thickness. Now on internet, I've searched loads of different pages and what i've found is i believe people are saying there's two different sizes is because some are listing as 22 mil some are listing as 20 mil but i believe some websites are listing the minimum thickness as the thickness which makes people believe that there's two different thicknesses i did um message ad bradler he has um like a vw parts supplier and he's told me he can only see one thickness listed um, I've just managed to get the part number because there's actually a genuine disc and go on the internet and this is a 22 mil disc so what I'm going to do is what I've done is I've typed that in on eBay um, I can't find any pads pads and discs set up they're only just uh, discs on its own so I've messaged a few eBay sellers and see if they can send me some pads to go with these because then they can go straight on the car 
right then people so we have now cleaned the garage as much as we pretty much can I've just pretty much moved stuff around but it's gave me the illusion that it's a lot tidier all the doors have now been put on this side with the glass I, rem I remember from the other two doors I had I got the glass from that so I've literally got four now I don't really have any use for them but you never know in case somebody needs them We've got the headliners, this one is actually for sale, so if it is still available at the time of filming. If not, I have one more Golf sunroof headliner and a Vento sunroof headliner still to sell. God, I forgot about all that. <laughs> oh, no, whatever. Um, Corrado seats, they're gonna be trimmed after I've trimmed the red set. We're in the process of getting those trimmed, so once they're done, I can get them sold, and then these, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I think I might just trim these and sell as well, or just keep them as spares. Subframe, cross member, and all that stuff. Waiting for somebody to powder coat, um, do a good deal on that. And then I'm going to put new arms, suspension bushes, everything, build it up to the subframe. And then I can just literally take that one off and then build everything back up within an hour or so. Spoilers, people. Anybody watching? Got some Votex, third brake white one for sale which is this one, GTI standard. We've got a new though for sale, that is not for sale. And then MS design. We're also going to be selling this early estate heck blend, Vertex roof rack. And then we've got Leicester Vento, Leicester Golf. If anybody wants any of these spoilers, message me on my Instagram, P7 Customs, because I want to get them gone. This, what's the point? Honestly, what's the point? I can be putting that money towards a Corrado or getting a Golf fixed and it's literally serving no purpose. So if anybody wants any, let me know. In terms of the grills, I'll keep them because they can all go on Golf. <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether to sell the Vento. I don't think I'll ever run a Vento front. As much as I love Vento fronts, the choices of aftermarket golf headlights makes it more worth having a golf front. In my opinion, you've got Heliquads, Marettes, ABTs. You've got the custom ones I've done up there, uh, which are the dual chambers with the clear lenses. You can do Joey mod, you can do loads of stuff. Um, and everything is reasonably cheap. If I go Vento front, you've got standard Vento headlights and then that's it. I think I've seen a set of halos before, which are probably not going to be cheap. And that's pretty much the only set I've ever seen. And because it's Vento, it's either going to demand a very high price or you ain't getting them. So I don't know. I don't know. There's two here. So I've got a aftermarket phase two and a genuine phase three that I potentially would sell. I think I should start being a bit more smart with my stuff and just kind of getting rid of the stuff I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use them too, but I might get them painted just to see what they look like. We've got two Mystic Blue grills sat here. That free slot I probably won't go back to, um, but if anybody wants a free slot grill, let me know. Um, is there anything up here? Oh, yes, there is a few bits up here up for grabs as well. So we've got Lucid smoked rears. We've got GTI red smoke red. And then we have got these Max Power looking things. I mean, they're not to my taste, but someone else might. And then we have these ones as well. They're pretty much brand new, just not in the box. Uh, brand new heck blend in the box. That is up for grabs, people. I want rid of stuff that I'm never going to be putting on a car. Thin out the little, I've got to thin out the, the parts a little bit. We have got some wheels sat just there. I'll put a picture in now to give you an idea what they look like. I'm selling those as well. They have been re-drilled already for five by 100, so they can pretty much go straight on any GTI VR6 or five stud swap car. Am I most steering wheel? I don't know. Potentially. I potentially will sell that. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, would I put that on the car? I don't know. I really want a Lupo 3L steering wheel. I think that's the only car, I think that's the only steering wheel other than maybe Halfwood Mark III that I would put on the car. Because I still want to keep the airbag. I don't want it to look, I kind of want it to still look OEM. And 
that doesn't really look very OEM and I haven't really got any other wood parts in the car. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yes, that's it. Let's get the car in. Where's the keys? There we go. I like the way it sounds. I don't like the droning on the motorway, but anyway. Looks so much better now. Just this back end, just having all the dirt off, just it just makes me feel happier to drive the car when it's clean. We've got the halos on as well. If you guys are new to the channel, we do seat upholstery, wrapping, trimming, everything like that, anything in the roof. You can't really see because it's taking its time to adjust. Um, these may be up for grabs very soon i'm going to be honest with you because i'm drawing up plans for the next retrim what they are you're gonna to have to wait but it's definitely something that's a lot different to this I'll, I'll give you that yes that is it ah rear seats as you can tell all match everything is all good on these seats really i'm actually really happy with how they turned out they're just kind of time to move on to something different it's been such a hassle trying to find somebody that is willing to take on the abomination of this paintwork but we have found someone now we just need to get all the welding done um i say all the welding all it is is offside rear arch which is this side from the uh the old bit of damage that we uh received lovely so that needs doing either that wants a whole new arch welding on it wants pulling out and kind of prepping again um, moving down to somewhere you probably can't see this sill at the front is a little bit crushed i may have jacked on it and i may have used a very small pad do i regret it yeah a little bit do i still jack on the sill no <laughs> so that is that Two new doors have now been acquired. We've got two wings that we'll probably order when the prep work has been done and the paint is ready to go. So that'll all be good. So, where this door seal is, right where it joins together, just there, underneath that, on both sides, it's starting to rust. Now, very common spot. If you've got a Mark III, I'd check, even if you haven't got an estate, just to double check. Because the seal joins there, as the water's trickling down, it's just sitting there and it's just rotting away. Um, so I need those two bits uh, welding in. The rest of the bodywork is ready to go. Peace.